You know that moment. The moment that scares all of us, even a poop guru. The moment when that fart is coming. It's letting loose, there's no holding back! Then you're like, wait a minute. Something felt kind of off. Ben asked that question that you're wondering if anyone else knows. Was that a fart or is there something more? Because that fart was awfully wet. Ugh, I know, wet farts. In today's video, I'm gonna explain exactly what are wet farts, why do they occur, when you should see a doctor for this condition, and at the very end of the video, I'm gonna give you my tips on what you can do to prevent wet farts so it doesn't happen to you. If you're suffering from this condition, because I know you are, or else you wouldn't be watching this video, this is just for you guys. Let's literally talk about food. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here. I'm a board certified gastroenterologist trained at the Mayo Clinic and your poop guru trying to give you the best tips and tricks so you can live your best life from the top all the way down to the bottom. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in today's video. So what exactly is a wet fart? Have you ever wondered this? Well, we know that a fart is a release of trapped gas. We get farting for a lot of different reasons. Mainly it is that stool that is fermenting in your colon, causing gas to form, and that gas getting expelled is exactly what a fart is. But sometimes there could be more than just gas coming out. Sometimes it can actually be a little bit of some liquid or some stool that's coming out with that fart. And we also know that that wet fart sometimes can have a stronger smell or a different feel than a normal fart because of that liquid stool that's there. So why exactly do wet farts occur? Now I talked about why farts occur in general. It could be just because of gas that's in your colon that has to get expelled somewhere, but sometimes that gas can mix up with either water or a mucus in the rectum to cause a liquid substance to come out at the same time that you're farting. And sometimes there are certain foods that can make it more likely for you to develop more water in your colon or to mix up with mucus. This include having foods that's high in sugar, for example, high fructose corn syrup, maybe dairy, sometimes eating too quickly, or sometimes it could be the type of foods that you're eating that make it more likely for it to not clump up as a stool, but come off a little bit more liquid. This could also be a sign of other conditions going on inside your body. It's kind of weird, but your rectum is not made to hold liquid. It's made to hold stool. And if there's liquid in the rectum for whatever reason, that can make it more likely for you to develop a wet fart. Sometimes it could be a condition called pelvic floor dysfunction. What this basically is, it literally means that you're anally retentive. Your rectum cannot relax. So that stool just sits inside that rectum. And as you're farting and passing gas, because it's opening up that sphincter, it causes stool to slip out to cause a wet fart. It can also be due to a condition called irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. When you have IBS, this can sometimes be due to hypercontraction of your colon, too much water in the colon, which can also lead to a wet fart. It can also be a sign of another condition called inflammatory bowel disease, specifically ulcerative colitis. This is when your body attacks the colon, can cause irritation inflammation to occur, and that can also cause a leakage of stool whenever you pass gas. But in most cases, a wet fart is just an embarrassing nuisance that's not a big deal. However, there are certain signs you should be aware of, and if you have these particular signs or symptoms, you need to seek medical attention. Number one, if you have pain or discomfort in your rectum, there could be a sign of a hemorrhoid, a tear or a fissure, or maybe some underlying inflammation or something bad going on inside that body. Number two, you have blood in the wet fart. Blood is never normal. Not in farting, not in anything. And so if you have blood anywhere in your stool, in your rectum, in your underwear, in your farts, it needs to be checked out. Number three, you're having a change in your wet farts on a more consistent basis. Every fart that you have has leakage of stool coming out or something's coming out. That could be a sign of something going on inside that rectum. If you have any of these symptoms, this is something you need to get checked out, to get evaluated to make sure nothing else is going on. Now, wet farts are becoming a nuisance in your life. What can you do to prevent this? Well, you're lucky here, because I am not only your poop guru, 
I'm your fart guru. Here are my tips on what I recommend. Number one, avoid dairy and avoid gluten to see if your symptoms get better. A lot of people don't realize they're gluten intolerant or they have gluten sensitivity and they're lactose intolerant as well. And that combination of those particular foods or drinks can make it more likely for your stool to not be compacted, not be solid, to lead to more liquid stools and make it more likely for you to fart to cause a wet fart to occur. Number two, avoid carbonated drinks. That gas that you drink in, guess where it needs to go? Either out this way or out the bottom way. And that can make it more likely for you to have farts and have more wetter farts. Number three, chew food slowly. I know it's crazy, but there's a condition called aerophasia. This is literally when you're ingesting too much air. Now, that usually comes out in bloating or distension, but it can also go into your stomach, into your colon, to pass out the other way. Number four, don't ignore nature's call to use the restroom. If you're feeling constipated, go to the restroom. If you're holding that stool in that rectum, it's gonna be more likely to leak out whenever you fart. Number five, avoid greasy foods, fatty foods, and spicy foods, which is harder to digest. Then lastly, increase the amount of fiber in your diet slowly. You wanna get between 25 and 40 grams of fiber, depending on your sex, to make sure you have enough substance in your colon. Here's my call to action to you. Wet farts can be a normal part of the process, but the one thing you can do today is to increase your fiber. Fiber is the foundation for gut health and fart health. I want you to do this to help improve your gut microbiome and make it less likely for you to have a wet fart. Here's my question of the day. Have you suffered from wet farts? What has worked? What hasn't worked? What tips do you have for my audience? Comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and newsletter. We can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in today's video. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, everyone.